Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. Ooh. And money is money. Money is trying to come out. Money is trying to come out. Um <laughs> All right, Aries, welcome to my channel. Let's go ahead and get started. Money is trying to come out. I saw blessings, 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 and someone is missing you, okay? So somebody wanted to come back, okay? But they could have had some sort of negative attachment to them. So you felt more of them. I just want to say that. So let's see here. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow me to declare a message here for the Aries Collective. What do they need to know right now? What is their confirmation that they may need? What does Aries need to know right now? Thank you so much. Three cards. Thank you so much. Look at that. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. But that was a that was a bark I've never heard before. Um, so All right. <laughs> Buzz is going crazy. Look at that. And I said that court card cutting ritual needed. So there could have been something here where you had to break free from someone and look money coming in. Stop worrying. Money coming in. Stop worrying. Empath. You could be an empath here. You feel things very deeply. You can't ignore situations and you have breakup or divorce. All right. So yeah, confirmation that you needed to let go of something or someone. So let's pull here from this lovers, from the love oracle. And I'm going to pull some tea leaf cards. So what does Aries need to see here? Holy Spirit. Could be um, money coming in after a divorce settlement or the increase that you need and you've been desiring. One second, guys, before I continue, make sure that there's nobody at the front door. Just my guard dog being the guard dog. All right. <laughs> Some old man walking his poodle. Walks it at the same time every day. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look here. Holy Spirit. What do we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? What do they need to see? We have between the lines. Between the lines, it says hidden meaning, vague, speculate, implicit. Signs and synchronicities, it's at the bottom of the deck. So you could have, your intuition could be telling you something. We have ghosted, disappear, silence, ignore, and rejected. This could be somebody that you were dealing with that's going through a breakup or divorce if you're not in a relationship currently. And then we have roll the dice, take a chance, risk, leap of faith, and strategy. So your intuition could be telling you that somebody is coming towards you after a breakup. Oh, wow. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we have signs and synchronicities. Again, uh, coincidence, signal, hint, message from the universe. So they want me to pull two tea leaf cards, just two, and just see what that's about. Hmm. We got short journey, family wishes coming true, horse short journey. And again, this card came out for the yesterday reading. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Tell us about this energy here, spirit. Can you clarify this for us? Tell us about this energy. So if you're the one that's getting a divorce, you're doing the right thing. It may not be as a, a long drawn out process as you think it will be. You're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Well, God dang it. Well, uh, you are, you're on the right path, Aries. <laughs> okay, we've got change here. The change card. So yeah, you are moving forward. 
Seeing false person at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more here for Aries. What do they can expect? What can they expect? What's coming towards them? Privileged lady. So there is definitely mummy coming in for you, Aries. There is some sort of increase in your abundance. This could be after a breakup here, you leveling up. This could be a divorce where you're receiving some sort of money, some sort of payout here. Um, maybe you think that the road is going to be a difficult one and it's not. We got official person, sudden wealth and lovers. Um, let's see what's going on here for Aries. They're wanting you to take a chance at something, okay? Leap of faith strategy. As I look there, it is 111. 111. So take a chance. Whatever you've been thinking about, Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor here, there you are. You're going to receive it. Go ahead and take a chance. Go play them numbers. Do something here, okay? And like this could be a glow up after a breakup is what I'm seeing here with the ghosted card. Disappear, silence, ignored, and rejected. You could be going through some sort of glow up or break um, after a breakup. All right, let's take a look. I love my cards here that I got here from a subscriber. I think it was Kim. Let's see here. So the five of swords. Somebody tried to play some mind games with you. Somebody could have been a narcissist. They tried to play some sort of mind game with you where you, they thought they were going to win. They were going to defeat you and page of swords. They could be watching you now. Tell us about the challenge here for Aries or what was the challenge? The tower. Something was very unexpected or something you found out or discovered um, changed everything and changed the trajectory of your life, your relationship um, with the tower here. This is Aries and Scorpionic energy, but there was something here that came out. It was unexpected, but just know the tower is a clearance of energy. So even if it was unexpected, it was hurtful, whatever it was with the judgment here, it needed to happen. It needed to come out because whatever the foundation that you built was not standing on solid ground. It, like your building was not standing on a solid foundation on solid ground anymore. So it came crumbling down. And I felt like spirit may have blew it over. <laughs> Some of y'all was, it was made with sticks and that was the explosion. That was it, right? Because you needed to get out of this tower. All right. What's the advice uh, from spirit here for you? You've got the nine of swords. You could be worried and having very a lot of anxiety and stress about this, this situation. But spirit is saying you're going to be okay. This tower needed to happen, and it's only it's normal when towers happen that you are in a little bit of like what the f you know what I'm saying because this is completely si sidetracked you unexpected. But you need to get your rest. Somebody here needs to get their sleep. Somebody needs to get like I'm getting the energy. Whatever this was, whoever this was, is not worth your health. Not worth your trouble. Okay, it was never worth your trouble. But you're you're upset about the situation because you may feel this very deeply with the empath card here. You just may feel things deeply and you can't, you can't, you can't control that. But what you can control Aries, you know, is the attention that you focus on that. So you may, may need to turn away from the situation and focus that energy on yourself, that healing energy. It may have been too much focused on another person. Let's say you're not getting a divorce, right? And there's no payout settlement settlement. For some of you, that is the case. If this is just a breakout breakup. Your money may just be increasing by disconnecting from this person. Okay. So that's why we have cord cutting at the bottom of the deck. Got the temperance here. I'm going to put that on top of the nine of swords. So there is healing. Be patient for yourself. You will get over this situation. You will get back into balance. If somebody specifically, somebody goes to you, that is very painful energy, but it was all out of a manipulative tactic. It was mine games. Tell us here about what's coming towards Aries in the near future. Told you. The Ten of Cups. You're happily ever after your wish fulfillment. It could be a new relationship for some of you. Others of you, it's just happiness. You know, somebody tried to steal your joy. Somebody made you very unbalanced here. And there's somebody new coming in. But the Ten of Cups here is a wish fulfillment. Okay ultimate wishes desired being received here. So let's take a look at this energy. The five of swords here with the first card is like, you know, somebody really tried to play with you. They thought that they could get over on you. And it's, it looks like they ended up playing themselves. Looks like they ended up playing themselves. 
because you're about to be sitting real good and pretty Aries, male or female. Ten of Cups, Nine of Wands. I keep hearing they played themselves. They played themselves, whether this was romantic or whatever. Somebody played themselves. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Yep, Five of Wands. Somebody tried to create some sort of drama or conflict in your life. They may have tried to put you in competition with another because they thought it was all fun and games and needed to feed their ego. This was some sort of narcissist, some sort of narcissistic tactic. And I know we use that word a lot, but the fact of the matter is it's, it's running rampant now where people want to be the center of attention. They want to win. They want all the glory. The ego is, is so being so focused on and driven. It's all about just what somebody can instant gratification. You know, it's very hard to connect with other spiritual people who are, you know, al aligned on a bigger purpose. And this ego energy is just like competition, competition. I want to win. I want to win. I want, I want to be desired. You know, I want, it, it's just it's very nasty energy. And it's very easy when you're an empath to find yourself, when you're unhealed, I'm going to say this, unhealed sometimes, very easy to find yourself connected with this type of person because you're a giver, you're a pleaser, you try to people please. And well, the thing is that you need to be pleasing yourself, okay? You need to be making yourself happy. And you got involved with some sort of narcissistic energy with the five of swords. Look at this, the knight of wands and the ten of cups here is a tower. Somebody here... Somebody here tried to, it seems like they were in and out of a relationship. There was a good dynamic between you two. There was emotions. There was love. There may even have been a very a spiritual connection. But if you can see here with this Knight of Wands, his back is turned to a wish fulfillment. Like there's some sort of player energy here who ignored the blessing that God gave them, the happiness, the relationship, you know, it could even be good family. It could be, you know, a marriage. It could be a soulmate connection that this Knight of Wands just continued to ignore. They came in, experienced it for a little while, got bored, ran out to do something else. And that's why this tower happened. See, for you, Aries, it feels like it's a punishment, but honestly, this tower was a blessing because somebody didn't appreciate the love, the care, the family energy that you gave them or the relationship. So this is in the challenge position. So I'm feeling like somebody here is struggling to kind of accept that something had ended or they discovered something about someone. But I promise you, it's probably the best thing that could happen. Tell me about the nine of swords and the temperance, Sagittarius energy. There's the five of swords. You will heal after this manipulation, Aries. Somebody tried to get away with something. And with the temperance here on top of all of this, Spirit is saying that they're helping you heal. Just be patient. You know, things are all going to balance out for you. I almost feel like with the three of swords here and five of swords, definitely some sort of cheating, infidelity here. Somebody tried to do something that they thought they were going to get away with hiding the truth, and they didn't. Tell me about the temperance and the five of swords. I almost feel like with the five of swords energy, it's like somebody here, you're going to be the one who's going to be victorious. And it's not, it, it may not even feel good, you know, because the five of swords sometimes is like, there is no winner. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody gets hurt when somebody is trying to get away with something. So, but it, it will feel like your, your victory is getting away from this manipulative energy. And we have the page of cups here. It feels like you may be intuitively guided to something. It could be a newer connection. Some of you, there was a child involved. And I think that came out in the reading yesterday where there was a pregnancy or a birth of a child here. And it was something there that somebody tried to hide. There's confirmation. Tell me about the Ten of Cups here. <clears throat> Whoop. Wow. And then there's the Empress. <laughs> That's guard of pregnancy too. But I am seeing this Ten of Cups here clarifying the Empress here. There's a new beginning for someone. There is a new beginning. This new beginning has happiness. This has love. This has a new relationship. It's the happiness that you're creating after going through some really traumatic breakup or ending. 
Okay. It may have been difficult, but it seems like there's only abundant energy coming in for you with the 10 of cups and the Empress. This is a beautiful energy. So if you've been struggling to release a person or letting go, just know that you are on the right path. Okay. You are on the right path. And with the short journey, it may be sooner than you think to get over this. Okay. You may think that this is like the end of the world with this tower moment, but it feels like that whatever was lost or ruined is going to be restored. Tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Empress, the world card. Wow. This is complete happiness. Okay. The world is in your hands. You, like the world is your oyster. This is complete happiness. And this is all happening because of a tower. There could have been a third party here with the three of pentacles and the devil, some sort of toxic energy here. And a lot of things that were hidden that you did not see with the moon. Look at that. And you may have been trying to hold on to a connection. And that's why this, that's why